Justin for the MTG Noob, here on my vacation right before 4th of July, bringing you some Modern Masters. I haven't drafted this format before, so this one's just going to kind of be for fun. Don't expect super elite lines of play or anything. I'm learning the format. Some of you probably are too. We'll both figure it out together. So, cards in this pack are rares, crap. Path to Exile is obviously really good. It's premium removal. We're probably going to take it here. Um, other good cards. Uh, Sudden, Sudden Shock's good removal too. Etch Oracle is good for both Affinity and for uh, Domain. Stink Drinker Devil is uh, one of the enabler cards for Giants. Uh, Latchkey Fairy is a, a good card for Fairies. Uh, so is Thieving Sprite. Empty the War is obviously key for Storm. If Path to Exile wasn't here... I don't know what I would take. Probably the Sudden Shock or the Etched Oracle. Probably the Sudden Shock, though. Anyways, though, we're going to take Path to Exile here and be happy about it. So, not a lot going on here. I mean, we could take Crushed Underfoot and hope to go Giants. Let's see, what does this card do? I mean, we could go Green White. Uh, Sapperlings. I think we can see this come back. I don't see a lot of awesomeness here. We could take the Vivid March. Huh. I kind of like that. Taking the Vivid March and staying open for one more pack just to see kind of what's getting passed our way. So let's go ahead and do that. So there is an Amaro Scout here. It fits with our colors. Uh, there's also Careful Consideration, which is pretty good. Blind Spot Giant is, is one of the cards in Giant decks. There's a Drag Down, which is decent removal in Domain. But I, I think we're going to take the Amaro Scout here because it's on our colors. Maybe we can go Rebels. And then we hit a Tromp the Domain and a Bone Splitter. Those are both really good cards. Tromp the Domains is really good. We could take that and try and go Domain. Alternatively, we could take the Bone Splitter because that's a really good card and whatever it is we decide to do. Dirkwood Battle is also really good. Uh, I think it's between either Bone Splitter or Tromp the Domains. If we take Tromp, we're kind of committing ourselves to an archetype, whereas we take Bone Splitter, we're staying open still. I but Trump the domain is really good. Um That's a tough one. Oh, there's a Wrathy Trapper here too. What am I I think I'm gonna take the Wrathy Trapper. Just because it fits our Rebels theme and is one of the better Rebels, so well, we can stay kind of on our thing. Now I wish I had taken the Trump because there's a Kadama's Reach, and that's really important for the deck. Uh, there is a worse by changeling, which is a rebel, even though you wouldn't think it. There's also a stir the pride, which is really good, as well as, uh, I mean, ward reading is there too, but I don't know if I want to take that. I think it's down between worse by changeling and stir the pride. I think that we can get stir the pride later in, in the modern matches that I've watched. I've seen it go pretty late. I think we're going to go ahead and take the Changeling here. And there's a Blight Speaker here. Definitely going to take it. Really good card. So I, I right now it looks like we're Rebels. And I think our first six picks has gone pretty well. I already have two of the enablers and a trapper. But one of the problems with rebels is most of the creatures are really small, so we're going to have to be on the lookout for uh, bigger stuff that can get in. Uh, in this pack, Imperiosaur and Penova Spider are both really good. Unfortunately, they're not in our colors. And there is an Amaro Seekers, which is another rebel. And this one can't be blocked except by white creatures and artifact creatures, which makes it pretty good. 
So I think we're going to take it here. Uh, alternatively, we could take the Vivid Crag, but I'm happy to take it the Seekers here. Uh, this pack has a pair of Deep Cameron Imps, more Rebels, and a Saltfield Reckless. I think we can probably get one of these Deep Cameron Imps back. So I think I'm going to take the Reckless here. Be happy about it. I think if we're going to go into third color, it's going to be red. Just for some removal like Pyrite Spellbomb, Rift Bolt, stuff like that. So we should be on the lookout for uh, some Vivid lands in our colors. I know we've passed the Vivid Crag. Uh for a scout, no, a Seekers. But I'm, I'm fine with that pick. That is one ugly guy. Uh, nothing here really great. Take the Great Heart. Who knows, maybe we'll pick up some Giants later on. We can have like a Giants Rebels split deck, but for now I'm gonna hide it. So, picking up some more changelings will be good for this deck since they tend to be bigger than uh, their rebel counterparts. Maybe we'll get lucky and pick up some, uh, oh, well, yeah, that Crush Underfoot came back. Uh, there's also Street Wraith and Brute Force. Card I'm most likely to play at this point is probably Brute Force, maybe Street Wraith. It does have Swamp Pot, Ken Cycle. Yeah, let's take it. Is it our colors? And here we'll take the, uh, we could take the changeling, but I don't like this one very much. I think I'll, I'm fine taking the stalactite. All these changelings are so ugly. Nothing here really great. I think we'll take the paradise mantle. Maybe I'll let us splash something. Probably not going to play it. Hopefully we get one of those uh, Rebel Imps back. Um, this is between War and Weeding and Otherworldly Journey. I think I'd rather have the Otherworldly Journey. I don't really super like uh, War and Weeding. So this is looking decent so far. Let's see. There is a death rattle here, which is decent removal. But there's also a blight speaker. Which do we want more? Death rattle or blight speaker? Blight speaker is one of the better ones. Makes me want to take that one more than Death Rattle, but Death Rattle is really good removal. Uh, this is a close one. I think we don't have enough of these yet, so we have to take a Blind Speaker. But now that we have three of them, we can kind of look at the other stuff a little more. Uh, this pack, I'm looking at probably Meadow Boon. It makes all of our little guys bigger. There's nothing other than that that we really want to take. I mean, Electrolyze is really good, but it's not under colors. Nothing else really is except for Face Vaulter. So we'll go ahead and take Meadow Boon here. Uh, this one is between Glacial Ray and Pyrite Spellbomb and Fiery Fall. Tempted to take Fiery Fall just to have some land cycling, but this is not the land cycling we want. We want 
our land is likely to be either white or black. So I think we're going to pass that. I think it's going to then be between uh, Glacial Ray and Pyrate Spellbomb. And I, I think I like Pyrate Spellbomb more. Because it's something we can play and then use on a different turn. And we can even cycle it. Can't do that with Glacial Ray. So we're, we'll take the Pyrite Spellbomb here. Still haven't seen any Avian Changelings. Uh, so we don't really see anything here. There's Torrent of Stone, probably going to be what we're going to take. Yeah, it's either that or, or, or Feud Killer's Verdict. I think I like Torrent of Stone more. Because if we're going to splash red, we're gonna, it's going to be for cards like this. Glad we picked up that War Spike Changeling though when we did, since I haven't seen a lot of other Changelings come around. Alright. Warren Pilfers. Sorry, uh, yeah, we don't care about that. I don't really see anything here that's really great for us. I mean, I think Pellet Migrator might be our best. No, never mind. I mean, I could take Dream Spoiler Witchers as just like a, a flying guy. That's looking better than any other options. There's just no good options for this pack. We're not in green, so Dirk would be a loss. No good. Uh, this pack... I think it's probably going to be Test of Faith. Really good card in our colors. I think we're going to take it here. Seeing a lot of green go around. Looks like we might have some competition to the left of us in Rebels. Or in, or in our colors, anyway. So the last pack should be good for us again. I would like to see it absorb this. Or, uh... The other one that gives 1 plus 1 plus 2 to all creatures and untaps creatures. Could take Etched Oracle here. I'd rather take that or Hillcomb or Giant. I mean, we're going to have three colors. We're going to need more of the... Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a speculative pick, but I'm going to go ahead and take this. We do have a lot of four drops now, though. We'd like to see more Vivid Lands. I've seen them disappear, not come back around, so. That's not true, I just haven't been taking them. Not sure if we're going to play Street Wraith, probably not. I'd like to pick up another Wrathy Trapper. I'd like to pick up... Probably another Blight Speaker or Ambrose Scout. I think Blight Speaker is probably better. Uh, go good. It's a Blight Speaker, so we'll take it. If this wasn't here. I'd take probably Mogwar Marshall, maybe the Ivory Giant. But we have enough of these guys now, these enablers, where we should be fine on not picking them. Uh. I think it's either between Death Denied or Blinding Beam. I think I'm going to take a Blinding Beam. Still haven't seen any of our land cyclers. Uh, 
Uh, nothing here that we're probably going to play. I mean, we can't. If we could actually use the other spell while we'd, we'd take it, I think I'll just take a Fury Charm for the side board. So we have four enablers. I don't think we need any more than that. Uh, at this point, I'm going to take a Fiery Fall. Did come back around. It's not land cycling in the colors we want, but it's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Capsule. So we have 20-ish playables right now. There are some cards we'd like to improve on. We have no Bound of Silences right now, which is not very good. That's a card we're going to have to hopefully pick up at least one of. I mean, what is a Rubble deck without any Bound of Silences? Well, we didn't get any Bound to Silences here, but we did pick up a bomb and add a car Valkyrie. I think we're going to take that over Wrathy Trapper, even though I would really love to have this Wrathy Trapper. Just this card is entirely too powerful. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll come back around. And there is a Bound in Silence, and we're going to take that over Executioner's Capsule. We need these. That wasn't there though, I'd probably take that. Our deck is starting to round out now. We'd like to pick up some more vivid lands in our colors. We have those, Wrathy Trapper, Bound in Silence. Those are the, uh, and uh, any avian changelings. Those are the four things we're gonna be looking out for. Maybe we can cut the red entirely if we do that. Oh, uh, this pack. Hey, there is another War Spike Changeling, but there's also a Horby's Whisper. I think we're going to take that. There's also a Gleam of Resistance. That's what we were wondering about last pack. Maybe we'll wheel that. I don't think we'll wheel the War Spike Changeling. Uh, there is a Lightning Helix here. It's that or the Vivid Marsh. I don't think I can pass Lightning Helix. Yeah, we're going to take that. It's just too good. I mean, it was that or the Vivid Marsh. Would have liked to pick up another Bound in Silence. Maybe we'll still get lucky. Highly unlikely, though. Our removal suite's really good. Creatures are not terrible. Do have a lot of our pinger guys, which is good. All in all, I'm happy with the way our deck turned out. Surprised we didn't see any avian changelings. I guess people take those pretty highly. So we have four red cards that we want to splash. Three if we cut Fiery Fall. I mean, it's still four with a Pirate spell on. Yeah, we're going to need some more Vivid Lands. Or some Terramorphic Expanses. We'll see what comes around to us. We've seen half the packs of this round. OK, 
Okay, well, there's an absorb this. We never saw the stir the pride come back around. I think at this point, though, I have to take the absorb this. Could still get lucky and see it come back around. And then it's either Terramorphic Expanse or. I think it's probably Terramorphic Expanse here. I mean, Rift Bolt's here too. Kind of want to take that. I mean, if we hide the Fiery Fall, this is 24 right here. That's a close one. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to take the Terramorphic Expanse. I think our, we already have a, a good amount of removal as it is, so... Okay, there's an Avian Changeling. We'll go ahead and pick that up there. Some good cards in green and Masking Myers and Rude Awakening. Flicker Wisp is also pretty good, but I think we want the Avian Changeling here. Nothing ex super exciting here. Could take the Worm Harvest. Can't imagine we're going to have a lot of lands in our graveyard, though. Yeah, I think I would just rather cut the crush underfoot. Or maybe the dam is hot. Yeah. Well, there's a tribal flames here. It's that or Hillcomber Giant. We're going to have maybe three basic lands in play. Maybe I want the Hillcomber Giant for sideboard. Yeah, I'm going to pass the Tribal Flames. I don't want to have my Red Splash get too big. Well, there's a Warren Weirding. More uh, removal if we need it. So what is that a picture of? A Goblin splitting in half? Okay. We did get another War Spike Changeling. That might be something I do put in. I think it's better than the Anti-Snitch. I don't know if we saw the Gleaming Resistance come back around. Not even sure if I'd want to play it. Actually, I'd probably want it over better over Absorb Vis if I only play one. Is it Vis or is it V? I don't know. Nothing super exciting here. I don't think anyone's in this deck. I think I'd rather cut the Manta. We'll take another Hillcomber Giant. Well, this one should put itself together pretty easily. Didn't pick up. Didn't pick up uh, the plus two plus zero equipment. That would have been nice. That's a maybe. Maybe. I don't think we're going to be able to play the Etched Oracle. Oh, this is 20 right here. What's our removal look like? 12 creatures. 
I at least want one giant. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six removal spells. I think that's probably a good number. Need two more cards. What's our curve look like? Three. I think Otherworldly Journey is one of the cards I want. And probably Dream Spoiler, which is the last. It's just like another flying creature. I think this looks good. So three red sources, Terramorphic and two mountains. One, two, three, four, five. It's like a half right there. Maybe I want three mountains. I don't have a, I mean, I do have a couple double white spells and one double black. Then I can play six and six. I do have more black early. Oh, no, it's about even. I can maybe cut a mountain for a plains. All my red is single. I think I could probably do that. Do I want to though? I, let's start with this and just see how it goes. Cause this can cast white spells too if we need it to. I think we'll happy happy with this. We'll go ahead and see how it goes. See you guys in the matches.